We are the Glendale Adventist Academy Choral. The band also traveled with us, but um, the stage is just a little bit small. We have 78 students in the band, so we couldn't quite fit it. But some of them will be performing for you in small, smaller ensembles. Uh, we want you to know that we came all the way out to Chicago from Los Angeles County just for this concert. So we're glad that you came. And while we are here, well... <laughs> And in addition to this concert, we did a few fun things, the sight, uh, sightseeing type of things that you do in downtown Chicago. Uh, we got to perform in the Field Museum yesterday, which was a lot of fun. And we're going to uh, Symphony Hall tonight to attend a concert, so that's exciting too. My wife is begging me right now not to continue on much longer, so I'll talk about what the choral will be singing. We're going to sing somewhat chronologically. We're going to start with our oldest music. This music was written sometime in the 1500s. So if it's church music in the 1500s, it must be in what language? It's in Latin, as is our next piece also. The first one's Cantate Domino, which means sing to the Lord, a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth, sing to the Lord, praise his name, proclaim his salvation today. And after that, a setting by the great composer Mozart, a description of Christ, who out of his amazing love for us was crucified, suffering death that we may have eternal life.
here in the United States, we're blessed to have a genre of vocal music known as African American spirituals. Songs that came from the slaves, sung during their long days of back-breaking work and during their times of worship together. Sometimes these songs had double meanings, especially the ones about the children of Israel being freed from their captivity. And these spirituals often retold stories of the great heroes of the Bible, as does this next song. Daniel, Daniel, servant of the Lord, which relates the tale of Daniel's faithfulness even while sharing space in a den of hungry lions. I apologize for not telling you who the soloists were going to be on that uh, spiritual we just sang. Our tenor soloist was Nathan Estepona. He's a junior this year. And then our uh, bass soloist. We love your enthusiasm. We're in a church. (laughs) Our bass soloist was Ian Luna, and he's a sophomore this year. And speaking of Ian Luna... He'll be at the piano to play Praise to the Lord. (laughs) You know, I was hoping that we could do a responsive reading together. Are there enough hymnals? I just didn't see very many hymnals. If not, you'll have to listen to me read it myself. I guess that's what it'll be. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, you who are his servants. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and evermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the Lord's name be praised. High is the Lord above all nations. His glory is above the heavens. There is none like the Lord our God in heaven or on earth, who sets his throne so high, but deigns to look down so low. He lifts the weak out of the dust and raises the poor from the dunghill, giving them a place among princes among the princes of his people, who makes the woman in a childless house 
a happy mother of children. Oh, praise the Lord. The other young man who sang a solo is Nathan Estepona. Nathan's quite a renaissance man when it comes to music. He plays the violin beautifully, he sings beautifully, and he plays the saxophone. Nathan's a junior this year, and he plans after, after high school to study, study medicine. So I'm sure you will enjoy his rendition of This is my father's world, and he's got the whole world in his hands. Nathan's a junior this year, and he plans...
As music teachers, my wife and I are continually humbled by the talent of our students. My heart's been touched, and, and I'm with them most days of the week. That's beautiful. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and I will hear their, heal their land. You've met Ian Luna, the pianist. We have two Ians in our group. This is Ian Callalang, and he's also blessed with some wonderful musical gifts. Ian is a sophomore. He plays trombone, tuba, percussion, ukulele, and what's the name of that special drum you like to play? The cajon. And he's a wonderful tenor singer. So Ian will sing now, If With All Your Hearts, from Elijah, the Oratorio by Felix Mendelssohn. All right. It's a very popular early American hymn called Simple Gifts. It is a gift to be simple. It was composed in 1848, right around the time that our Adventist church was just getting started. 
by an elder Joseph Brackett. He was a member of a small group of Christians known as the Shakers. Their original name was the United Society of Believers in Christ's Second Appearing. You can see why that title was just shortened to Shaker. It was called Shakers. They were called Shakers because of their singing, their dancing, their shaking, and their shouting, speaking with tongues and prophesying. This is an exciting group of people. This song, Simple Gifts, has come to be one of the most popular songs in the early American song and hymn tradition. The first verse lyrics are, "'Tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free. Tis the gift to come down where we ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, t'will be in the valley of love and delight. I present to you our flute quartet, one freshman, one sophomore, one junior, one senior. And they are <laughs> Hannah, Cece, Nika, and Jolly.
And that was our first public performance of that piece. So you got to hear the premiere. At this time, we'd like to hear just from the men. They will be accompanied by Aaron on the piano and by Caitlin Moore on the oboe. They're going to be singing how... <laughs> they will sing How Can I Keep from Singing...
unclouded day. Oh, they tell me of a home far beyond the skies. They tell me of a home far away. They tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. Oh, the land of cloudless days. Oh, the land of an unclouded sky. They tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. They tell me of a home where my friends have gone. They tell me of a land far away where the tree of life in eternal bloom sheds its fragrance through the unclouded day. They tell me of a king in his beauty there. They tell me that my eyes shall behold where he sits on a throne that is bright as the sun in the city that is made of gold. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. And I think we're all looking forward to that day. Amen? Amen. It has truly been a pleasure to worship with you this afternoon. How many of you from the uh, Hinsdale Phil Am Church know some of these young people from Glendale? Your aunties, uncles, your cousins. Don't be shy. Raise your hand. Awesome. Oh, nice. Thank you. At least you know their parents. Maybe you went to school with them, right? Great. Well, this is certainly a great bunch of kids, and we're very grateful that you opened up your church to us this evening. And... And then, of course, you're being incredibly generous, and you're going to feed all of us, too. So <laughs> they've been looking forward to rice for about four days now. So, <laughs> so thank you. And I'm sure everyone in Glendale sends their greetings and hellos to the Hinsdale Phil Am Church. We will have our choral benediction at this time for you. The Lord bless you and keep you, of course, until we meet again in that city that is made of gold.